Hi everybody, this is Angie from TorAngie.com and today I am driving some streets uh, that go up and down these hills and then I'm just going to drive through the parking lot of Bluefield High School so you all can see it. If it's been, if it's been years since you've seen Bluefield High School and of course parts of Cumberland Road with driving these streets. I will be doing more streets here uh, in this area in future videos but I just figured I would keep this one to about 10 minutes uh, so it's Washington um, let's see I'm gonna go the order I'm gonna go with the order of the streets that I do so of course I'm on Cumberland then I go down Washington a little bit turn a left onto Fairmont then on to Toledo then back on to Washington then down to college where I pass um, on the way I pass um, Westminster Presbyterian Church and then there's a church on the left um, I think it's a uh, Methodist Church but I also pass by uh, Albemarle Street and Albemarle Merle oh my gosh sorry about the Albemarle Street I'm gonna do a separate video of because there's a cool house there so that'll be a separate video but anyway um, at the end of Washington Street I get on College Avenue take a right and go up Jefferson and that's when I come back out to Cumberland and head to Bluefield High School and drive around. Then I'm back out on Cumberland for just a minute. So I just wanted to show you this area. If it's been years since you've been up and down these streets. Um, I always enjoyed coming uh, coming up and down these streets as a, as a kid in the area. So um, I really don't have anything special to say. Just um, enjoy the video. I hope it brings back memories of these streets for you and I'll have more of the streets in this area in future videos. I will say that you can do uh, one of the driving tours or a vir virtual tour um, with the Bluefield Historical Society that will showcase a lot of the houses in this area. Uh, a lot of them are colonial revival and neoclassical designs. A lot of it's open accursed and stuff, but the structures that are right here that we're passing on, like Jefferson Street, and even though I'm not going quite down Albemarle, Albemarle um, these are considered the older, the earlier um, structures that were built, um, early 20th century style. So these are the older, his older, older houses. Um, there are in case you didn't pick it up in another video or this is a new video to you there are um, 250 listings of houses on the National Register of Historic Places just in Bluefield and most of those well not most well I guess most of them but many were um, built by uh, were homes that were designed by architect Alex Mahood um, the one on Albemarle that I'll be showing in, in a future video, it wasn't, but um, it's one of my favorite houses, though, so that'll be a future video, though. But anyway, Mahood was uh, trained in Paris and brought back um, styles that were in Europe back to this area. So, um, just a little bit of information there. I believe I have mentioned that before in other videos, but... Um, he was a really popular architect that lived in this area and a lot of the houses in this area were owned by um, bank presidents, architects, mine operators, uh, merchants, uh, contractors, um, different different places. Uh, so, or, so yeah, they, they had beautiful houses for sure. But definitely get with the Bluefield Historical Society. They have a lot more information than I do about these houses in this area and can do a better tour because I'm just driving around. Um, I guess next I could talk about Bluefield High School uh, since we will be in this video driving up through the parking lot. Um, the, there's a little section that was built onto the front of the high school as we're pulling in. It was built, I think, in the 90s. I remember going to school and it being there. Um, I actually remember having a class a class or two in that little section. 
or we're just going to circle through the parking lot, circle around back. Um, you'll be able to see uh, some of the back where the field is, the practice field and stuff. And this used to be a used to be the way that I would go to walk uh, the track. I'd park up here and just walk downhill to the track. So we'll be able we'll be able to see that in the video. This area in the back of the high school too. Um, also, uh, at the school in inside the school in the library, they built a new library. Which I've never seen, but uh, they built it in 1998, and it was named later the Mary Shamara um, uh, Library after the librarian who was there, uh, Miss Shamara. Um, we could talk about some history. Um, of course, I'm pulling a lot of this information from Wikipedia, <laughs> but uh, the high school, Bluefield High School, was named beaver um after the beaver pond district was the future mascot of course bluefield beavers um the this um this school was opened in the fall of 1957 uh, the former beaver high school um served um as central junior high school that was the past video so when this school opened the old high school became a junior high uh, for a little while until the 1980s um, and we'll talk a little bit about sports um, Bluefield has been known for well in the past especially it seemed like football uh, haven't we have there's 11 uh, different uh, championship years 1959 62 65 67 75 84 97 2004 2007 2009 and 2017 um, but there's been a bowling championship in 1992 golf 1996 and 1997 boys basketball 95 96 2013 and 2014 Tennis was 98, 2000, 2001, 2002. That was boys tennis. Girls tennis was 2007. Uh, and wrestling was 2007. So um, there in the 90s, uh, it, was a it was a AAA high school, the largest um, in, you know, the largest uh, high schools, one of the largest high schools in the state. But in the 90s, it uh, went back down to a, went down to a double A school uh, because of population drop. There wasn't as many kids in school as there were beforehand. And um, uh, from 1959 to 2017, the Bluefield High School football team had a winning percentage of .728. So of their games. So yeah. Some interesting information for you. Anyway, I just pulled all that from Wikipedia. Um, but there's still some more information there. So if you'd like to check that out, go right ahead. Um, I really don't have anything else to say. I just hope you've enjoyed this little video of driving these streets. If it's been years for you, I know it has been. Honestly, for me too, I went down Washington Street maybe like three months ago for the first time in 15 years. So, um, these streets I have not went down forever. It's at least 15, 20 years. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Um, and this is Angie from Torangie.com. Come to my website, read my blogs, uh, make appointments so I can help you with your next travel adventure. Touch you later.